Welcome to lesson 4. In this lesson, I am going to discuss a very important concept that is the details of Atmega 328P. You should know this details otherwise the course will not going to help you in uh, understanding difficult pin connections. So here I will elaborate the pin configurations of Atmega 328P. We are using Atmega 328P microcontroller. The name suggests something related to the manufacturer. If I break the name in uh, pieces, then let's see what information we can get out of it. This AT stands for Atmel Corporation, the manufacturer, which is now acquired by Microchip Technology. Mega stands for the series name in which the controller belongs to there are three series tiny mega and x mega more like uh, buying different sizes of t-shirts so this tiny series ic's have pins uh, lesser than 28 mega series ic's uh, pins start with uh, start from 28 and x mega series ic's pins start from 44. This way Atmel Corporation categorized it. This 32 signifies the flash memory size in KB. And I am not sure but 8 signifies that the IC is a Atmega 8 variant with enhanced memory. Because Atmega 8 has 8 KB flash but Atmega 328P has 32 KB of flash. These are the information you can get from the IC name. The microcontroller has a 32 KB flash memory where our programs get stored. 2 KB RAM is also available for uh, temporary data storage. So first point is the controller has 8 bit CPU so it can process 8 bit data at a time. The IC has uh, 23 input and output pins out of which uh, 20 pins can be usable in our Arduino Uno board. Three pins are unusable. One is connected in a reset switch and uh, the other two are connected to onboard crystal oscillator. So out of 20 uh, usable pins, Six are for analog input pins and 14 pins are for digital I.O. The analog input pins can also work as digital I.O. That is configurable. Let me tell you there are three timers which can help in uh, countdown related operations and delay generations. And also uh, PWM signal generations. There are two external interrupts one uh, serial communication module like we call it UART universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter i'll tell you all the details in our next section and six channel analog inputs are there six channel means there are six analog inputs which can work simultaneously let me show you how arduino named its pins let's understand that first in real world, we do not count from zero, though uh, zero is a number. But when we count, we always start with one. Similarly, in chips like uh, this microcontroller, we never count the pins from zero. We count it from one. And how? Every IC has a notch on top of it. So the left hand side of the notch starts this rule is followed by this ic also then why in arduino no board a pin is marked as zero because the real ic pins and their configurations are different from the nomenclature followed by this arduino platform that's why they released a pin mapping diagram through which we can understand the relations between the real IC pins and the Arduino nomenclature pins. 
this is the pins or you can say this is the pin mapping diagram you can see this pin mapping diagram see a reset and crystal oscillator pins are marked as port pins but connected elsewhere ic pin 2 is marked as arduino pin 0 and it goes on uh, till arduino pin 4 there are five pins 0 1 2 3 4 the chip also has rx tx at pins 2 and 3 which in arduino board is marked as 0 and 1 port c which is marked as pc is designated for analog inputs that's why uh, the pins are marked as adc0 to adc5 similarly in arduino these are named as a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 out of all these six pins a4 and a5 are designated sda and scl pins used for i square c communication the ic uh, also has three timers which are responsible for generating pulse width modulated signals I, I have told you here the timer output pins are marked in purple color c as oc means output compare so oc 0 a and oc 0 b are for timer 0 the arduino pins are 5 and 6 oc 1 a and oc 1 b are for timer 1 the Arduino pins are 9 and 10. OC2A and OC2B are for timer 2. In this case, the Arduino pins are 3 and 11. These pins can generate PWM signals. That's why in Arduino Uno board, uh, you will see these pins are marked as this tilde sign. The pins are 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11. These are associated with the timers. Serial interface pins are also marked in cyan color. You can see RX, TX, I2C pins SDA, SCL, and there are pins for SPI, Serial Peripheral Interface, SS, SCK, MISO, and MOSI. So I think uh, now you have understood that there are differences between the Arduino pins and the IC pins and that's why we need a pin mapping diagram every time if you want to make your own uh, circuit board your own printed circuit board rather then you you should know this you should know about this pin mapping diagram in the next lesson I'll show you how to write your first LED blinking program in Arduino